Today, it's bonnet wrap time. Look, there's a few reasons for wrapping the bonnet. Um, glare's one, but I just think it looks cool. I wrapped it on the Hilux. Uh, it's not too tricky. It is something you can get involved with yourself. I'm not super experienced with wrapping. I've done a few bits and pieces, but it's certainly, it's, it's a good couple of hours job. So first thing we're gonna do, take the existing stickers off, give it a good clean, and then we'll plan out where we're gonna put the wrap. The first thing I wanna do is, and Burr's decided it likes my car the toilet, so we need to get rid of some of that. And let's just get that off first. Luckily, we've been driving this a bit today, so, and it's it's coming to summer in Queensland, so it's getting a bit warmer. So the bonnet is actually quite warm at the minute, so it's making this process quite easy of these of the existing vinyl to come off. Just where we'd cut all the letters out, it's probably the trickiest bit. All right, so bonnet protectors off and. Uh, I had this stuff from Super Cheap. It's uh, it's an IPA, so it's a nice isopropylene. It's just a, like an alcohol wipe. I'm just gonna really clean the bits that we're gonna wrap, just so the the vinyl sticks to it a bit better. So let's get that done. So what I'm thinking is basically coming down this side here and around the front of the bonnet and up the other side, leaving the scoop in the middle white. Um, kind of like a, just so it's like a U shape and heading out of it. I think that would be nice. One of the things we want to do is obviously create a custom shape on the bonnet. We don't want to go um, running our knife across the top of the paintwork. We use um, a product called Knifeless Tape. Now this is by a company called Wrap Cut Pro, but they're all basically the same. So this has got, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this. I'll hold it up quite close. So that's just got a little bit of nylon like it's not fishing wire, it's just like nylon wire or string embedded into the tape. So the, the idea is you lay this down on top of the bonnet or anywhere that you want to cut. You put this down first, you put the vinyl on top and then you rip this out and that cuts the vinyl from underneath so you're not scratching the car. It's pretty clever. Um, so I'm going to get busy and put this down into the shape that we want it to be. And you want to give it a bit of a tail off at each end so you've got something to grab. So. All right, I'll get the rest of this done and I'll come back. We've got the knife is taped down. We've got the pattern out that we want to have. So I've got it all set out. Now it's time to get the vinyl out. Hopefully I've got enough because this is an off cut from another project. And we'll cut out the rough shape and then we'll get busy. I do want to wrap the door handles and stuff, so I'm hoping this bit in the middle won't be enough to do all that. The old, uh, what do they call this? The heat devil. So it's a trade gas, trade map, something like that. 
but it's basically just a little bit of heat is all we'll need. Right, and the only other tool, of course, is a squeegee. So let's get busy. You want to, it's called glassing it here. You, you want to pull it and manipulate it just so it's nice and, nice and smooth, as smooth as you can get it. So, yeah, it's somewhere there. And then we just we'll squeegee this top bit on. As I say, everything above this line we're going to cut, so I'm not worried about anything up there. And then this down bit, we just want to pull that, release the tension. I by no means a, the master of this. I'm a hack, but look, it works. So that's where it's going to head north. It's got cool technology in its vinyl. It's called um, it's like bubble free or so. What it's got, it's got some channels in it. It's got thousands of little microscopic channels underneath it so if you do get a bubble in it if you kind of just rub it the bubble comes out like this one there's a bubble so if we keep rubbing it, it disappears look at that it's cool 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 stuff so you can't really so this hexus is the brand of the vinyl they're a french company so if i just work on this a bit more Get this bit up. There. I haven't had to use the heat yet. I'm hoping I won't, but if I do, it'll kind of reduce, re renew the vinyl back to the form that we get it in. If we stretch it too much, it'll kind of return it to its original state. I hope no rappers are watching this because you'd be disgusted with me, but hey. I'm not a rapper. Work it up. This is where it contoured a bit. We may need a little bit of heat in here, but at the minute it's looking okay. We will lock it all in with a bit of heat later. So it kind of gives it a bit of a memory. And it stays where it wants to stay. Right, so we've put all the vinyl down, um, all bubbles gone, we've pressed it all down where the knifeless tape is, so now what we want to do is literally cut where the knifeless tape cuts. So we laid it down, this was the last one down, so it'll have to be the first one off. So we want to start at this side, cut this first one, and then we'll cut the two sides and see what it looks like. This is the tricky bit. Pull it, and then we just want to keep a nice even pressure the whole way back. Keep it quite low, all the way around. Hopefully you can see that, and up this side. And around 
the corner. And off to the side. Alright, so that's just it's just that, it's just a piece of string basically. Bring it up, snap it through and keep it low. Right down. So that is the cutting done. So this is actually, this is the bit I love the most. This is kind of the very therapeutic bit. different design. Yeah, just something a bit cheeky. What do you think? Yeah, no so that's the final product. What do we think? Leave your comments below, I'd love to know if you like the pattern, you hate it, you think it's cool, you think it's useless. I don't know, but different. So that's it, what was that, an hour? Um, don't know if I like it or not, we'll live with it for a while and see it anyway. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, it really does help the channel out and we'll see you in the next one.